There's a big move happening on campus at Augustana University. Several big moves, actually. But the one that requires a giant flatbed seems to fit that big mantra the best. It's just one more step, right, where you're, you're getting closer to the reality of, of having an arena right there. Multiple buildings from Heritage Park on campus are being relocated in order for a new structure to form its own heritage. Soon construction crews will set up shop at the corner of 33rd Street and Grange Avenue to turn a rendering into reality. Those buildings were the first step. Like that, that, that was a big step. Um, so you'll start to see some other uh, dirt moved. You know, the, of course, we do live in South Dakota and sometimes the winter's not our friend, winter that lasted in mid-April. But uh, in the next few weeks, we should see dirt moved and start to grade the, grade the area. And uh, there'll be a lot of um, traffic there for a while. Spring and summer are typically the off season in the hockey world. But for a program that won't even hit the ice for more than a year, there is no off season. Every day that passes brings Augustana hockey one step closer to competition. And now they know the man who will lead them into battle. Garrett, good morning. Good morning, what's going on? Hey, well, I am awfully excited to call you and offer you the opportunity to be the first ever head coach in Augustana hockey history. Good, let's get this thing going. You know what, I didn't know what call I was getting so when he offered me the job I was uh, I was a little bit taken aback but uh, so excited uh, you know for the opportunity. I loved it and he didn't know it was coming um, so he probably had an inkling but um, it was not that that was a genuine excitement I think you saw on my end uh, and I think on Garrett's too it was a it was a, it was a perfect fit. Hi, hi coach. See you boss, how you doing? Well, I think the excitement about the job started as soon as they announced that they were going to have Division One hockey down here and uh, all that came with it. We were a very attractive job and so we thought that going in and it was affirmed throughout the process. So we had a, a ton of interest across the country and uh, couldn't have found, wound up with a better head coach than we did. Indeed. So let me have the pleasure of introducing the first ever men's hockey head coach at Augustana University, Garrett Rappelman. Garrett Raboyne was introduced as Augustana Hockey's first head coach in late April. A longtime assistant for both St. Cloud State and Minnesota, Raboyne's resume spoke for itself. Right up the circle, he scores! Garrett Raboyne! But it was his grit and determination as a player more than 15 years ago that made the biggest impact. He was a walk-on at St. Cloud State who became a captain. Aye, aye, captain. That's pretty rare. So to me, it says he knows how to work hard, he knows how to chase goals, uh, and is able to build relationships around him. So that to me says a lot. I've never been a big proof people wrong guy. It's, you know, I gotta prove people right. You know, whoever gives me that opportunity, it's up to me to make sure that uh, I make them look good in the end, and, and that's what I've tried to do. The pomp and circumstance of the opening press conference is a double-edged sword. The hope and excitement that fills the air is cut with the idea that the real work is just beginning. Coach Raboyne is the only known component of the program so far. And now it's his job to assemble a roster that fits his style. No, well, I want to play an exciting brand of hockey where we get up and down the rink, but at the same time, I think something that's going to resonate with the people of South Dakota is we're going to play with an edge. Uh, and we're going to go to work uh, in a humble way um, and really uh, have the detail and commitment to defend when we don't have the puck. At the end of the day, we are here to build a competitive program, and so we need uh, we need great players to do it. And so I think whatever assistance that I can help Garrett when it comes to building a staff and on the recruiting front, uh, I'm here to do it. Moving a building is one thing, but building a program is another. Big moves have already been made at Augustana and will continue to be made in the near future. The wheels are in motion. And the skates aren't far behind. When we started this journey really 12 months ago, the October 23 still felt like way out there. It's not anymore, right? Um, so this is very real. And I think that's the fun part for us. And now that we have somebody who can be another ambassador for Augustana hockey within the hockey community, you know, this summer when he's recruiting, uh, when he's helping out with USA hockey, uh, he'll be doing it on behalf of Augustana. And that means a ton. It's been something that college hockey's needed for a long time. Uh, teams have been flying over Sioux Falls to go play 
uh, the Denvers, the Omahas, and uh, this is such an incredible city. It's booming here. Uh, Augustana University has uh, the incredible academic reputation. Um, and now uh, w with athletics and Division One hockey coming, uh, it, it couldn't be more exciting. And joined by David Brown, who has been on the Augustana Hockey Story from the beginning. Coach Rabs, as they call him, had a mentor, has a mentor still, that is well known to a lot of hockey fans around this region, right? Yeah, if you're a fan of college hockey, you know the name Bob Motzko. Yes. He was Garrett's head coach at St. Cloud State, hired him a couple years later as an assistant coach, and then when Bob took the job at the University of Minnesota, Garrett went with him and has been an assistant coach for him up until taking this Augustana head job. And Garrett told a great story when Bob talked to him about a walk-on role, and Bob said, if you work hard, I will take care of you. Garrett obviously took that to heart. It's been such a mutually beneficial relationship ever since. All right, they start play in 2023, yep. correct? So what needs to happen in the rest of 2022 to keep things moving forward? Well, Josh Morton, the AD at Augustana, said there were three main goals for 2022, the calendar year. First one, hire a head coach. Obviously, they've done that. Second one, finalize the blueprint of Midco Arena. Obviously, it's going to start construction here in the summer of 2022. But Coach Rabs is going to help in terms of the interior, where the locker room is going to be, other parts of the interior set up. And then the third main goal that pretty much everyone's waiting for, a conference affiliation. There's been rumors of the CCHA, NCHC. But A.D. Morton knows that they might have to start as an independent. Now, that makes scheduling a little bit tougher, but everyone's approaching this clear-eyed. They know starting as an independent is a likely option. It's a tough option, but they know a lot of new programs start this way. They just need to see if a conference deems them a good fit, but they're prepared to be an independent in a year and a half. Interesting. All right, and it will be a huge deal no matter when it gets going or when, whatever affiliation they have at that time. Right? Whatever affiliation they have, whether it's with a conference or an independent, October 2023 is fast approaching, and they they cannot wait for it at Augustana. Appreciate it. David Brown. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.